You want to know what you get when you send your wife to the store to get some food? You didn't send me to the store. I sent me to the store, for the record. <laughs> yeah. Ram, Ram, Rambutans? Rambutans, which is a Malay Indonesian language word for hair. Vietnam, it's chum chum, which is hairy fruit. Um, these are Frida's rocking rambutans. And uh, have you ever seen a fruit with a warning label? No. Honestly, uh, right there is a warning label. It says, warning, choking hazard. Peel and remove seed. Keep refrigerated. Do not eat seed. That's... I'm nervous. I know. Like, it's a product of Guatemala. These originally come from, like, Asia and Malaysia, Indonesia, neck of the woods. We need a variety in our diet. Why not? I mean... Do you ever just feel like you eat the same fruits and vegetables over and over again? This is my first time touching it. Oh, it's very prickly. That's you see crazy. that? Look at that. <laughs> it's a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it is prickly. Not, I mean, it's not hard prickles, but, like, it's kind of soft. It's creepy. But, yeah, it's definitely creepy. They kind of grow on a bush. Um... It's not, it's not hard. At first I thought it was hard. There's no smell to it. No scent at all. A little weird, sort of a weird smell. Okay, no, cut it in, in half. Oh, like that this? Way. You gotta cut it this way. I was gonna start cutting spikes off. You guys? Yep. Oh my. Oh, whoops. What? Oh, there's the seed. You oh, wanna... I cut the seed in half. I can't eat the seed though. It's a choking hazard. So, that's right. So did I do it wrong? Yeah. You said cut it in half. Now what? So, you're supposed to cut it around, and oh, then oh, oh. you peel it back oh, like I didn't know. that. Look you are at so that. You stinking smart. Now what do I do? I don't know. So that's what the inside looks like. This is what the... In the the rest of it looks like the fruit meat. <laughs> the fruit meat. Should so, I just squeeze it out of it or lick it? Sure. All right. This part here is it's like a grape. It's not dripping. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. It's like gooey, kind of. Yeah. It's not a grape. It's not quite like it. Maybe a naked grape. Kind of, but not as juicy. It's a skinless grape when I say naked. I'm not going to say anything till you take a bite. Mmm. Um, there's a little touch of coconut. Um, a little touch of like a green grape, mm -hmm. but not as sweet, no sweetness. bland kind of just a blah fruit i don't want okay i'm gonna try take two on another so i just mm. got just a little on the edges just squeeze just squeeze it out i don't know how to do without what if it pops out in my eye or something so if, if you, you wind up, up doing it like this <laughs> squeeze oh. oh that's what i was worried about it popped okay. out okay mm -hmm. we can wash that off mm-hmm <laughs> We're going to feed this to the children for breakfast tomorrow. Getting around the seed is kind of a pain in the butt. You just squeeze it from the bottom? Mm-hmm. Oh, has anyone ever eat this, eaten this stuff before? That's just weird. <laughs> and then... Mm, you set the seed out, the seed out in the shell. Yeah. I feel it's... like I'm... In a different country. The seed is right about the size of an almond. Maybe a little. Oh, it's, um, the seed's really easy to bite right into. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Yeah, I almost choked. 
You would have had to give me the Heimlich. So, um, how much was how much was a box? Like three dollars and eighty six cents or something. Not bad. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Mm. It's about thirty cents each. Sorry, I'm trying to. I couldn't get that seed piece off of the fruit, so I'm trying to eat the fruit off and then wipe the seed off, and then it's like, mm, like it won't separate. Okay. Not a very safe so, thing. I would not feed it to ch like little kids. Yeah, that that would be that would be bad. See, look, you peel the seed out, and you still get little seed shells in there, and they don't come out very easily. Seed cells by the seed hook. <laughs> yeah, the seed's kind of a pain. Well, I don't like that part. Same I am. Okay, mm. so I'm trying to get. I might choke. As a gentle, gentle reminder, we still have land and land shirts for those of you who need one. I'm taking shells out of my mouth. We're working on getting them out as fast as uh, we can, so you can get it before Christmas. So, if you want one, let me know. Got uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, the bonus one, and the no selfie stick. So, in uh, <clears throat> my opinion of the the Ram Ramutan, Rambutan, um, I I give it a thumbs up. I like it. I I think that they're, I think they're good. You know, a little but, difficult to eat around, but so is a peach. Something might be good, but it, well, I don't know because the yeah, peach, a, the peaches though, the difference is the peaches are really juicy and so they're drippy, messy. These aren't really juicy, no. but the seeds get stuck to them. With the peach, you don't have to worry about the pit. The pit won't get stuck to the fruit. You don't have to worry about choking on that pit. So it's more do. like a mango seed, like where the mm. the fruit just kind of uses around the mango not really because you still it won't it won't get into the fruit it's not stuck on the fruit like i literally couldn't get it off hmm. it was really stuck on it it's kind of the most difficult seed to get off of the fruit that i've discovered in my life and apparently there are many health benefits behind the rambutan That's why I bought so it. Uh, so yeah. it's good for you like most fruit is. Yeah. We do really, we really did need a variety in our diet. Because we were saying, we don't have any fruit. We just have oranges and apples and bananas. And that's like all we ever really have for fruit. Sad. And like, we, like in the summertime, of course, we'll have more like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Sometimes I still get blueberries. But they're like over double the price in the wintertime. So. It's true. Out of season. So then, you know, we have the frozen stuff. But, you know nice to have some other varieties of fruit and nobody I think I was the only one to buy this because you see this stuff in Idaho and store and people are like oh what's that the guy selling it to her didn't even know what they were yeah well so, the the clerk or whatever what, what do you expect at Walmart they're not no offense he might be watching Sam Walton's dead, but he still could be watching. Sam Walton so. wasn't the clerk who checked me out at Walmart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On that note, what do you give it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm going to have to do a little side gig thing. That's like 75%. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. is it? If this, oh yeah, this is like zero. This is 50, that's 75. That's 100. Okay. Okay. 75%. And uh, my friend, uh, Philip Fay, he uh, suggested we do uh, a, a food drink review on the Southern Comfort Vanilla Spice. So leave a comment below if you think that that would be something that we should uh, dive into. Was that the same brand of what we had, but just different, like a vanilla? Okay. Yeah. Does he like so, it? Did he say? He says it's the best. Okay. We'll see. Because I was not impressed with the regular Southern Comfort eggnog. Just saying. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up because thumbs up for good. Make sure you leave a comment. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. All right. Good night. Good night.